This is probably one of the most recognizable trees in North Carolina. Every child from elementary school up knows the native dogwood. This is our flowering dogwood. It is not our state tree, the pine tree is. This is our state flower. If we look at the flowers of the dogwood, this is the flower in the center. It is probably not the most attractive flower, but it's surrounded by bracts of white. These are just modified leaves. A lot of us think that this is the flower, but this is the flower that contains the male and the female flower parts, and these are bracts. Our native dogwood is what's referred to as an understory tree. It grows under the canopy of the overstory trees. This tree attains heights anywhere from 15 to 25 feet over time. Not a big tree by any means, gets just about as wide too, but our forests are filled with it from the mountains to the coast. Our native dogwood does best in filtered shade or light shade. It can handle full sun, but it prefers light shade like this environment that I'm in right here. If you put them in too much sun, they tend to suffer a little bit from the heat of summer. If they get full shade, like back deep in the forest, they don't flower at all. There are millions of dogwoods in the middle of the forest with so much shade, you never see them flower. Where you see them flower is on the edge of a field or, during, or around a utility right away somewhere, right on the edge is where they really like, where they get a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade. They prefer very well-drained soils. So if you decide to plant one in your yard, plant them in your best well-drained soils don't plant them in soils that are overly wet or soils that flood. They cannot tolerate it. Uh, dogwoods are best planted anytime in the fall, the winter, and now in the spring. Of course, selection is best at nurseries, but you're going to have to water them almost once a week if you put them in your yard. The flowering dogwood is also a mass producing tree. It produces soft mass. In other words, in the fall of the year, there'll be red berries here. A lot of birds and small game, small animals, like the fruit of the dogwood. So the dogwood is, of course, like I said, most recognizable in North Carolina. We find them in our yards, our landscapes, and throughout our forests. A very durable tree. The wood is extremely tough, used for lots of sources or lots of reasons back a, a century ago almost, for shuttles, for dog club or golf club heads. Um, but it's a very versatile wood, a very hard wood, and one of our most popular native species in North Carolina. I'm Rhett Davis with the North Carolina Tree Farm Program.